Hello. All right, we have let our bucket dry overnight and the streamers that we put on it have dried and are nice and hard now. Um, I gave your mom the tip before you started to maybe remove the black paint on your pumpkin face with some fingernail polish remover. Um, if they did that, then you may not have to paint it as many times. If they didn't, then you may want to give your pumpkin a couple of coats of paint. We are going to paint over the streamers that we put on our pumpkin first. So, you're gonna need to pull out your step two bag, or your second bag, and go ahead and open it up. And all you are gonna need from this kit right now is one of the cups, your orange paint, and your foam brush, okay? Set the rest of your stuff to the side. We'll use it later. Go ahead and open up your orange paint and squirt it into your cup. And we are just going to paint over our pumpkin the best we can, painting all the way around. And this is gonna cover up any spots that may have torn that we missed when we were doing our decoupage part. So it will just give it extra coverage on our pumpkin. Just paint it top to bottom all the way, long strokes, and try to get any of the funny pieces. And if you went ahead and removed that paint from the jack-o'-lantern face, you'll probably be able to do just one coat of paint and let it dry really good. But if not, then you're gonna wanna let your pumpkin dry the orange paint dry on your pumpkin and then come back and do a second coat of paint. Okay, and this doesn't have to be perfect. But we're just painting up and down, top to bottom, all the way around as best we can. Here we go. And this part goes pretty fast. It's way faster than when we were putting the strips on. It's not nearly as messy. Okay. You might get a little paint on your hands. So just be careful not to touch anything that you don't want to get permanent paint on because this paint is permanent and it won't wash out of your clothes or the furniture or anything like that. So don't touch any of your mom's nice things. And I've noticed a couple of spots where my paper tore. You can kind of, or I missed a little spot. You can kind of see one right there. And I'm just gonna paint over that and it's not gonna matter at all that there are a few holes or spots where my streamer didn't cover. But what's nice about this is it is gonna make the outside of my pumpkin look kind of rough and bumpy, and it makes it look really neat. Once I get all the way around, I am going to let him dry a little bit and then I will probably have to paint mine again because I forgot to take the paint 
off of my Jack O'Lantern's face before I started. So I let it dry really good and then give it another coat or two if I have to. But usually, if you'll let this sit and dry a little bit, it will dry pretty quickly. See, it's already covering it up pretty well. But I will probably want to paint it one more time. See how you can still see his face a little bit? All right, I've made it all the way around. I'm gonna let my pumpkin dry, and then I am gonna paint him with another coat. If you do not need to do a second coat, then you, once your pumpkin's all dry, you can go ahead and click on the next video that will show you the final stages of painting a face on our pumpkin and then attaching a new handle. See you in a little bit.